tell us a story of wind and rain for the next few days. Um, I'm going to give you an outlook uh, as well and just check on the long range models in a mo. Um, but first up, this is uh, tonight. So this is this evening. Anybody got any firework displays planned this evening or bonfires uh, across England and Wales? I'm afraid you're going to get uh, blown out a little bit because this area of low pressure tracking its way through. Look at the ice bars down to the south. Some really strong winds as that feature tracks its way eastwards taking some really strong gusts with it and I think it's going to be in this sort of zone here that we see the strongest gusts inland. Could be 50 miles an hour plus within that region. I think typically 70 miles an hour across the coast of Wales coming up through southern parts of England. Still rain around northern Scotland too by midnight. That low then tracks away into the North Sea into Sunday morning and uh, then we find this weak ridge building in but another area of low pressure out towards the west. So the GFS seeing gusts like this up to uh, 6 o'clock this evening. This is the 6 hours from midday to 6 o'clock. And it's got the strongest of the winds within that zone there. I think we are going to be seeing 70 miles an hour gusts across the coast. But look, this is that area of sharp winds I was telling you about going through the Midlands. And uh, this could be 50 miles an hour plus for some as that area moves through. This is uh, midnight tonight, the six hours going in from 6pm uh, up until midnight and uh, you see here strongest winds then get pulled away look up towards northern parts of England. 70 miles an hour still on these western coasts, easy 50 miles an hour plus inland across um, the northern Midlands, northern England. And then it's down the eastern coast that between midnight and 6 we see the strongest of the gusts here. Again could be up to 60 miles an hour here but notice they're much lighter further west. And then for tomorrow, for Sunday, well, uh, we find this area of low pressure zipping in. Look, one area low pressure clears east, taking the rain with it. We then find a weak ridge building in, bringing better weather. Some showers northern and western Scotland, but then this feature zips in. And that's going to be bringing rain. This is midday tomorrow. Look, the rain into southern Ireland, just getting to southwest England. Showers affecting western Scotland, but much brighter for most. And also some showers northwest England and west Wales. By three in the afternoon, the rain becoming more persistent for southern Wales, southwest England. And then it drags its way eastwards through the course of the afternoon into the evening, becoming heavy at times through tomorrow evening across central and southern parts of England. Not only that, but the winds pick up again. These are the gusts between midday and six o'clock tomorrow evening. And you see here, look, coming up through southwest England through the channel, we're seeing gusts of uh, could get up to 60 miles an hour. And then up to midnight, the strongest winds mid channel, eastern channel here, again between about 50 and 60 miles per hour. So more windy weather on the way. So what's it looking like a little bit further ahead? Well, um, this is from the Japanese JMA model. This is week one forecast. It's 500 millibar heights, as you know, those of you who watch regularly. This is the week one. So this has taken us uh, from uh, last Thursday, uh, sorry, Friday, up to, uh, what are we? It'll be Friday the, or oh, what is it? It's going to be Friday the 8th of November, of course it is. See, all over the place with my dates, golden holiday, this is what happens. Um, strong jet stream look coming in across the Atlantic, indicating the unsettled weather staying with us. Not only that, but windy and wet at times too. However, week two look, so this runs from next Friday through until the 15th. And just look what's happening. A building heights taking place. High pressure coming through here. Deep trough out in the Atlantic. This brings a southwest flow. Still rain for many, particularly northern and western areas, but an indication of a settling down going on down towards the south. Not only that, ridge here look across the central and eastern states. Trough in the western states, ridge here across the Pacific. That pattern is a very interesting pattern for the development of high pressure and blocking. And just watch what happens here. Because week three and four, which takes us from the 15th right the way through then until the uh, end of November. So up to the 29th of November, look what happens. Higher than normal heights. Now it's not blocked out, but it's the indication of what this is trying to show. Remember, this is for a two week period. It's a mean of the flow. And look. We've got a trough here in the Atlantic. We've got a small scale low down here. We have a ridge built in here. And the model consistently trying to show pressure building close to the UK with a trough out here towards the east. Now, with this here, it's, it's, it's not particularly very strong, but there is a centre of high heights over here as well. So it's pointing towards this pressure build. And then when you compare it to other models as well, which also try to show this pressure build, we're building this idea of this building pressure for the middle 
to the end of November. And talking of those other models, this is the CFS. So this is week one, taking us up to the 7th of November. Look, here's our jet stream coming through. Low the normal heights to the north, high the normal down to the south. Then if we look at week two, uh, very similar. Um, we've got this westerly flow, still the strong jet. High the normal heights south, low the normal towards the north. Keeping it in this mixed westerly flow, but pressure starting to build a little bit down towards the south. Probably going to be seeing that later on, but look. Here's the high in the Pacific, or the higher than normal heights in the Pacific. There's that ridge across the central and eastern parts of the state. There's the trough in the Atlantic. Good model agreement. And then week three, which takes us from the 15th of November through to the 21st of November. Just look what's happening here. Here's the area of above normal heights. Look, starting to build in. There's the jet getting squeezed away up towards the north. Trough across um, northeastern parts of Canada into Greenland, still got this blocked out high over the northern parts of the Pacific Ocean. But the most important week is week four, this one, because look what happens. This is, don't forget, according to the CFS. So there's our block drifting eastwards across the central parts of the Pacific. Here is our trough across Greenland, western parts of Ireland. But just look, this centre of high heights here across Scandinavia, which indicates high pressure being up here somewhere and probably a flow doing something like that with a deep trough here in the eastern med. More of an east to, an east to northeasterly flow across the UK. So drier conditions look as if they set in, and I think it's good. we're going to say, let's go for it. Let's say from about the, well, 13th to 15th, onwards dry conditions most of the UK last to get the dry weather probably Scotland and Ireland but then we go into dry weather and then cooler I'm not going to go cold just yet but cooler conditions setting in from around the 17th or 18th onwards then we need to watch this block because once one of those gets in we need to see what happens because they are notoriously difficult to get rid of once they're there. So interesting developments and this is something that I'm um, going to be keeping an eye on uh, during the next few days to see how this shapes up with the CFS but it has been fairly consistent so I think this middle part of November is certainly going to be an interesting period to watch. That's where we're going to be turning cooler, that's where we'll be drier frost and fog at night and then we need to see how that we then deal with that going through the um, middle to later stages of November. So interesting developments taking place. I'm sure you'll agree. And of course, we'll keep you up to date as always here at weatherweb.net. But for now, thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.